it is really important to know that in the calcification of the arterial walls, there is always a fill up of heavy metals. So a heavy metal load through dental fillings is up to date. So nearly everybody has had or has uh, metals in his mouth. For example, amalgam fillings or gold inlays or different alloys for bridges and crowns. So what is very important to know here? It is to know that all these metals are corrode. So that is very interesting to know. Every gold corrodes. There is no uh, gold alloy in the world that can resist the saliva and the acids in the saliva. So let's have a closer look to the mercury uh, pathway. So as you can see here, 80% of the mercury vapor um, comes out directly out of the filling and 20% takes away directly through the root into the metabolic system and it is swallowed as well. And when you see here, it is metabolized and uh, by the bacterials from the mouth and the guts, um, it is, the mercury is able to cross the blood-brain barrier and goes into the brain as methyl uh, mercury. And it attacks the astrocytes and it is a real important cofactor in Alzheimer's disease. So amalgam promotes Alzheimer's disease that was written in 2001 in a study in the Neuro Report. So that tease short lifespan. So that is another really important point to underline that root canals have a big impact in chronic diseases and in toxin producers. So let me ask you, how many here from the audience has root canals? Please show me. Who has a root canal? So it is not a seldom thing to have root canals. So listen carefully what you know and what I can tell you about root canals. Because root canals um, has a continuous production of bacterial toxins. And when the bacterial toxins from a root canal comes into contact with the mercury from amalgam, it is called a supertoxin because the amalgam mercury can combine with the bacterial toxin methylmercaptane to produce an even more toxic species as you see here. So keep in mind there is a continuous production of bacterial toxins from a root canal. And why? Look to that slide. The tooth anatomy does not conform to textbook examples because in realistic cases you have not only a single main canal, you have thousands of accessory lateral channels. That means there are miles of lateral channels with every root canal. So let's see here what is the production of such a chronic root infection. You can see it here and you often can't see it in x-rays. That's very important to know because this is soft tissue and you can't see it in x-rays. The x-rays are always good for bone structure and heart tissue. But this, what you see here, is the product of a continuous chronic infection at the end of the root. It's called granuloma. So here you see another slide 
how long and the side channels are. You see here the main root canal, it's around 20 millimeters long, but the side channels are per root around 3 miles. So unbelievable with that uh, molar from the lower jaw you have around six miles of continuous bacterial production. That is very important to know when you are chronically diseased, when you have a suppressed immune system and when you suffer from mitochondrial dysfunction. So these invasions of toxins are really good studied and I found studies up to 80 years back. So 1920 you find in the, the scientific literature origins for that that bacterial invasion into dentinal tubules are well known by dentists. And here are only a small excerpt of the bacterial in the dentinum of non-vital teeth. So it starts here in the last 15, 20 years. But when you Google um, bacterial toxin plus root kennel, you have more than 3 million hits. It's unbelievable how deep it is known. So, that's why we prefer in chronic disease patients in order to increase the immune function to pull these root canals out. In order to have an, an substitute, we prefer non-metal implants. And these non-metal implants are totally made of ceramic and called zirconia implants. And these zirconia implants are without any galvanism, so they don't corrode. So what you see here is one of my first works um, now nine years ago. These are three zirconia implants in the right upper jaw. And these, my dear colleagues, are really anti-aging because it is important to see how the tissue reacts to that zirconium material. I will show you the pictures more in detail later. But here you see this is a mimicry effect. Nobody, even trained dentists, can really good see that this bridge or these crowns are artificial. That is what we want in anti-aging dentistry. We want a mimicry effect and we want no inflammation around the crown margins. And that is because we have no corrosion here. When you see the crowns and bridges made of metals, you often have, after a couple of years, a big black margin seen. Have you seen that? You know this. And this is because of the corrosion of the metals. The tissue, the gingiva, hates the ions coming out from the alloys. So, do we need really implants in the 21st century? And this is not a seldom case, but we, we often see such cases with a lot of uh, root canals.